amazing powers of observation. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Your ability to say what you see in the moment that you see it is your ability to break the ice with anyone, anytime, anywhere. Your ability to say what you see when you see it in the moment that you see it is your ability to break the ice with anyone, anytime, anywhere. In order to become great with people, in order to become more playful and spontaneous, in order to become a master of breaking the ice, in order to become very present and in the now, you want to learn to really engage your observation. And the more you can do that, the more present you'll become, the more attractive you are, because when you're present, you're attractive, the lighter you will be, the less in your head you'll be, the less analytical you'll be, and the more fun you'll become. And it'll be fun to break the ice with other people, because it becomes a second nature. So I'm going to give you an exercise today called See It and Say It. I've shared it before. I'm going to be very specific about it. I want you to go sit into a public place, a park, um, a mall, a walking uh, somewhere, a, a busy street, and sit there and look around at the people and look at their clothes, what they're wearing, and make comments to yourself. Look in their eyes. Are they open? Are they happy? Are they light? Are they uh, frustrated? Are they angry? Are they, um, are they uh, worried? Uh, what's going on with them? And say these observations to yourself. Say them out loud to yourself. And that's the first level of really practicing. Uh, the great actor Marlon Brando, uh, when he first moved to New York, maybe in the 1940s from Omaha, Nebraska, came here to New York, and he would sit, sit in cafes all on his own accord and look at the people, make observations about them, make stories about it. Of course, he's the greatest, one of the greatest artists of all time. So, that's it. Peace.